about to get started here and the starter for Toronto Bowden Francis and singing a special day for him he's making his major league debut here and I'm sure he's got some nerves he'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues exciting moment he's got his family in town I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career here's the center fielder Jaron Duran trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues just off the outside edge and now three and one. And he walked him. Now this was a story we were paying attention to before the game. We've seen him give up walks in the past and it's an issue once again early on. Man aboard and here is Devers. The two on. Devers swings and drives one. Deep right field carrying well. And gone. The two run shot. His first homer of the year, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 2 nothing. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Here's Tyler O'Neill. The 2 1. And that one is in for a strike. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. The punch out there. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many. If he beats the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him, he doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Red Sox already leading. And down on strikes. That's the second out. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Right-hander kicks deals. Pitch misses. And the count's even at two. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning. And it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. First inning going a bit long. 23 pitches to this point. Lifted in the air, right field. And it drops in. And that keeps the inning going. Connor Wong with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming Boog. you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here And next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. Righty delivers. Runner on the go. Brings it in for the third out. Two runs for Boston on the home run. It's now a 2-0 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Rogers Center. And towing the slab for the Boston Red Sox in this one. Tanner Howe 
safe to say he's pretty stingy Chris. Well he's been a real quality starter for his club and coming into this one what stands out for me is that right handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year it seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone so we'll see how right handers do against him in this one. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Here's a one-two. And another ball. Ground ball right side, and that's just foul. And the righty deals. That misses the zone, and the count is filled up. Springer swings through that one. It's a strikeout. He battled for a long time, but it finishes with a strikeout. You can't be mad at yourself after an at-bat like that one. Now the number two hitter. And another ball. One down, base is empty. Rip to right, base in. Man at first with one gone. And now for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The pitch. And that skips in the dirt. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Kicks and fires. And a ground ball to first, and it goes just foul. Man at first, one away. Ground ball right side could be two. Rafaela over to second, double play. What a twin killing to end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. We move to the second in Toronto. It's the Red Sox two and the Jays nothing. Back now in Toronto. Second inning set to go. Joe stepping in for Boston. Tristan Casas. The 1-1. One, one. Went too far that time. It's one and two. One ball, two strikes. Smoked on the ground a second. Whips it to first. One up, one down. Batting it. The shortstop. Trevor Story. Trevor Story comes up to the plate. One out, base is empty. 
off ball, the, plate. the plate. And that's ball two. Gary Simmons, our plate umpire today, sort of has a reputation as a pitcher's umpire. Yeah, a little bit of a wider zone than most, I'd say. And a wide zone can be tough to deal with as a hitter because you have to start expanding what you're looking for, covering both sides. And with the stuff pitchers have today, you're just not going to have a lot of success. The pitch. That one out to right. Springer there makes the catch, and Story is out. And there are two outs. Batting none. The second base. Two outs, base is empty. Sidney Rafaela up next for the Red Sox. Two outs, base is empty. High fly ball out to left field. Under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that'll do it. And welcome back Leading to the ballpark. The Bottom of the second. Leading the off, catcher. Alejandro Kirk. That one nope. missed. We got two balls, one strike. Yeah, there's a ball. Swing and a ball ripped out towards right center field. That'll touch down for a hit. Around first, heading for two. And his first big league hit is a double. Alejandro Kirk with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming dude you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here And now to the plate, here's the Toronto DH, Spencer Horowitz. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Man at second. That's a base hit. Throw quickly into third. They're at the corners now to start the inning. That is good. Spencer Horowitz with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming dude. you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here Ernie Clement next up for the Blue Jays. The 1 1. Hard hit down the line and left. This looks like extra bases. One runs in. Headed for the play. The relay. The tag out. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. Here's the rookie third baseman, Addison Barger. Here's a 1 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One ball, two straight. And now it's 1 and 2. Headed towards the corner. Makes the grab on the run. And there's two down. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. 
Now a chance for Leo Jimenez. Swing and a pop-up under it. Makes the catch inning over. So it's one run, three hits, no errors, and one left on base. We play two full. It's the Red Sox two and the Blue Jays one. Back here at Rogers Center, top half of the third inning, and stepping in for Boston, Jaron Duran. Duran. Here's a 1 1. And that's downstairs and outside. That one fouled off. 2 2 now. The other way. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Now it's Devers at the plate. The line of the pitch. That's ball two. Swing and a miss. Go well, Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Righty to the plate. Got him swinging. Well, when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. Slings to first. Red Sox go one, two, three. Nothing doing for Boston as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now at the plate, number nine. Left-hand hitter waits. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. Here's a one-two. And one, another two. ball. And a pinch. Fights it off, you'll see another. Here comes a pinch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. Well, Bogue, I'll tell you, when he goes to look at the video of that pitch, he's going to want to punch himself. That slider had hit me ridden all over it, and clearly he just got a little too excited and was out in front. Tell you what, when you get a pitch like that, you cannot miss it. Those have a chance to go a long way. Back to the top of the lineup, and now the right fielder, George Springer. Inside oh, just missed. That one to first. Casas takes it himself and two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Davis. Snyder. Now the left fielder. Two outs. That's ball three. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. On deck for the Blue Jays. Oh, 
There's a swing and a miss. We got a full count. To the right side. Oh, great stop from his knees. The throw on the money. Nice play. That was a great job of doing the math. He had the perfect angle. Diving stop completes the play, and that ends the inning. And we're back. Here's the left fielder, Masataka Yoshida. Masataka Yoshida. Short hop liner handled it short. Fires over to Guerrero. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. The catcher, Connor Wong. And now it's the catcher for the Red Sox, Connor Wong. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. And another ball. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Out to center. Got it. Really had to move for that grab. And there's two down. Two out, space is empty. Now it's the right fielder, Willier Abreu. Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Yeah. Next offering in there for a strike. One and two. Then he really two sells three. the changeup with that arm action. Three. Come on and miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Down in order go the Red Sox. But they still lead it two to one. Now in Toronto. Here's Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ball to strike. The pitch. Chopped left side. Whips it to Casas. One up, one down. Now batting. And next for Toronto, Alejandro Kirk. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block, catch, and throw. He is at the top of the game. That nope. misses the okay. zone. Two and one. Really good athlete. And many times we talk about, you know, the feet of infielders. This catcher as well, really quick feet. He's able to recognize the pitch, see the trajectory, and get into a spot where he can block those balls and keep them from going to the backstop. Spencer Horowitz, the next to hit. Really impressive with the way he frames, the way that he sets it up, because sometimes those pitches are off the plate, but because he sets up and presents it so well, he still strikes for his pitcher. Swing and a miss, and he got him. Three up, three down, inning over. Nothing doing for the Blue Jays, and our score remains 2-1. Welcome back to the ballpark. We go to the top of the fifth. Now batting Tristan Casas. The why to kick the pitch. And as well, lots of pop in that bat. So you combine the slug with really good defense. The why to the pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. Kind of shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. Got him! And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. Well, big power guy right there and generating so much bat speed. It's hard to bring that to a halt once you've committed. They tried to check the swing, just couldn't do it. And the pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Base is empty, one away, and we're at the top of the fifth. Next pitch is downstairs. Really good take, especially with two strikes. 
Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Just couldn't catch up on the low 90s fastball right there, and that's a result of a good job of changing speeds. Off-speed pitch on the one before, then sped him up. Pitchers that don't throw real hard have to rely on location and mixing up the speeds. That wasn't the best location with the fastball, but clearly that wasn't the pitch he was looking for at the plate either. That's hard hit on the line. That's a base hit. Now he'll turn for second. He's there. It's a two out double. Sedane Rafaela with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but. It's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Bowden Francis won't go any further, and as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. New pitcher on now, Zach Pop, on for his major league debut. So we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium. But the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Now batting Jaron Duran. And another ball. Two balls, one strike. Drops in for a strike. And that one hit to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. And the Red Sox leave one. They lead it 2 1. Head to the bottom of the fifth. And now for the Jays, Ernie Clement. And here it comes. This one back to left center. On its way, and that one's out of here. That was blasted to the moon. It's 2 2. Listen to these fans. This place is absolutely buzzing right now. You can feel the energy all the way up here in our broadcast booth. A good hitter gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge, not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Addison Barger digs in now. And that's outside. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. This ball's chopped on the ground. Whips it to Casas. And that's the first out in the bottom of the fifth. Here's the second baseman, Leo Jimenez. And that's down and away.
And a right hander deals. Rafaela makes the grab. Two down. Now the center fielder. And now the center fielder. Two down, nobody on. And that one wrapped foul. One and two now. On the ground, out to short. On the run, throw to first. Play made, that ends the inning. Solo homer ties it for Toronto. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at Rogers Center, top of the sixth inning. And here is Devers. And a 1-1. Drilled to right, way back there, and that is gone. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and they jump out front. It's 3-2. The one thing the pitcher didn't want to happen just happened. That's not an easy one to stomach. For a pitcher, the odds are in your favor if you keep that breaking ball down. That time, he got punished for it. Hitter just did a really good job of staying within himself and getting the barrel to the baseball. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Tyler O'Neill. And a ball and two strikes. Ripped on the ground a second, and O'Neill is retired. The left fielder, number seven, Masataka Yoshida. Masataka Yoshida up next for the Red Sox. One down, base is empty. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Masataka Yoshida with his first major league hit, and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. One gone runner at first. Here's the speedy catcher, Connor Wong. The count two and one. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. At the belt and fires. Rips one to right and foul ball. Right-handed reliever. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Well, that right there is just a pitcher's pitch. Tailing away from the hitter. Lowing away with some good action at the end. You know, even if he gets the bat to that ball, it's probably just a weak ground ball to the opposite side. Tell you what, that's a tremendous two-strike pitch. So two down now, and here is Willier Abreu. In the air, right field. Springer drifts towards it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. The Red Sox pick up a run on the homer. It's now a 3-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show.
And we're back. Lead Bottom of the six. The Here's George Springer to start right it off. The wind and the pitch. Now this is in the air down the line. Makes the catch and there's one gone. Now batting left fielder Davis. Now the number two hitter. The pitch. Swing and a miss. It's two and two. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. The Red Sox up by a run here in the bottom of the sixth. Swings and sends a rocket to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right right there. Nothing to show for it. But in your mind, you have to convince yourself that it was a very good at bat. Up the middle, Story. The throw to first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. One, two, three, go the Blue Jays. They trail it. Three, two. now in Toronto and here's the first baseman Tristan Casas the first baseman Tristan Casas left hand batter waits swing and a miss and that's strike two activity in the bullpen Brendan Little the rookie left hander appears to be getting going Nance the right hander also getting loose And the pitch. Ball. Two, two, the count. Ball. Slider misses outside. This one chopped up the middle. Over to first, and the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Here's Trevor's story. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss. It's a ball in two strikes. Popped up. Guerrero settles under it. Corrals it. Two down. And next for the Red Sox, Sidane Rafaela. Two outs. That one fouled off. Two and two. Right hander kicks deals. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. One, two, three go the red side. But they're up three to two. And welcome back to the ballpark. And here's the catcher, Alejandro Kirk. Man, he's been really good. About to hit that 100 pitch mark here in the seventh. Man, we'll see how far they're going to ride him, but it's been pretty good so far. Brings it in. And a quick out number one. The bat, the designated hitter. Spencer. Now it's the Toronto designated hitter, Spencer Horowitz. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. And another ball. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Number 63 up and throwing. Martin warming up as well.
Looking to get the tying run on base. Swings and pulls a foul to the right side. The pitch. That one missed. They tried to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Ernie Clement waiting to hit for Toronto. The pitch. And yeah, there's ball four. Well, it might be time to dig into that bullpen. He's looking a little fatigued to me. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Sox, Nick Pavetta on for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. Pickoff throw. Dives back. Out! On this situation, you're pretty eager to try to get that runner up to second base in the scoring position. A lot of good things can happen from there, but clearly not able to get back to first on the pickoff. Nice job by the pitcher. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there and just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just, oh, gets dirty. And that's a nice play to end the inning. Excellent stop right there. He wants to take it himself. Waves the pitcher off and continues to run into the dugout. Out of the bullpen for the Jays, Brendan Little. Yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut. No one on base. Yeah, you're already going to be a little nervous out there, so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases. Now here's the Red Sox leadoff hitter, Jaron Duran. Jaron Duran. Kicks and deals. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. Gets it there in time, though, and they get it out of the play. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. And it's Rafael Devers in the box, looking for his third home run of the game. Yeah, he blasted his second of the game in the sixth inning. This guy looks like he's playing on beginner mode in this one. Beginner mode is where it's at, Chris. Next offering in there for a strike. And now two and two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Eric Swanson getting loose out there. And he deals. And that one almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. So Devers will take his base. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Now it's the DH, Tyler O'Neill. Pitch misses. Two and two. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. And now the lefty. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. And he brings it into the warning track. 
just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Masataka Yoshida. Two outs. That's out to center field. Should have this one. Hauls it in to end the inning. One left for the Red Sox, and it remains a 3 2 ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, number 63. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And a pitch. Right through there for a strike. Action in the pen down there. Kenley Jansen, the closer of the staff, is thrown. The kick, the 3 2. And the tying run is on base. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches. And somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. With the tying run on at first, here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. That one at 95 missed up top. And it's two of them on. And he chases a high fastball there. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Swing and a drive. This one is crushed. No doubt about it. And here in the late stages, they have the lead. He'll take a trot around the bases. It's 4-3. Well, that swing changes things. Yes, it does. They were in striking distance. They found a way to fight back big time. Here's the center fielder. Next nope, one misses. Ball. ball two. And the righty deals. Aye. Wow, just a beautiful backdoor slider right there. If you've got any chance of hitting that pitch, you have to wait until the absolutely last millisecond. Just a tough pitch to hit and not an easy one to throw either. On to first, one gone to the bottom of the eighth. Now that the right field. Joe. And so the Red Sox go to the bullpen. Greg Weiser. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their players a chance to fight back into the game. to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. So up next for Toronto, George Springer. The pitch. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. George Springer with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. 
Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming. Dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. So a man aboard, now the left fielder. Kicks and fires. Ball. Strike on the inside corner. Back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. And another ball. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now singing. He's a guy that covers both sides of the plate about as well as anyone in the sport. How difficult is that to do? Well, just look at the back of my bubblegum card. You'll see how hard it is. These guys are great, man. They have the ability to look out there, but also to be able to turn on the inside pitch. Those that can really sharpen things on the outer half, those are the ones that become elite. On the ground to third, tags the runner for one, and that's two. The Jays get a pair on this homer. Last chance now coming up for the Red Sox. Now, and on the mound, the closer, Chad Green. A chance at his first save of the year. Well, one run game. Now, here is Connor Wong. Right through there for a strike. Just a really nice slider down and in there. He wants to get the hitter thinking fastball, speed him up, and just subtract some velocity and add a little movement. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door. Cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. One down, base is empty. Oh, Big swing and a miss. Two, two down. Stays alive. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. They were 95 to finish him off. Well, it's kind of tough right here. Closer comes in and he strikes out the first two hitters. It's hard not to feel defeated and that this is going to go quickly, but you got to go up there, maybe try to find a way to choke up on the bat, spread out, put the ball in play, and maybe you can extend this inning. Last out for the Red Sox in this one. Joe stepping in for Boston, Tristan Casas. 
just missed. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove one either. Left hand hitter waits. And now the count filled up three and two. This could end it. Lift it to left, and that should do it. And he's got it. Ball game. And the Blue Jays hold on to win a tight one as this one ends as a one-run ball game. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Berg. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W.